Even and odd numbers for kids. Basic math by Noodle Kids. Hi, today we will learn how to identify even numbers and odd numbers. An even number is a number that can be divided by two. Here we have two eggs. Here come two cats. These two eggs can be divided, one for each cat. Is there any egg leftovers? No. Which means two is an even number. What about four eggs? Let's divide the eggs. This egg is for this cat. This egg is for that cat. This egg is for this cat. And this egg is for that cat. Ah, no leftovers again. Which means four is also an even number. What about three eggs? Let's divide the eggs. This one for this cat. This one for that cat. Uh-oh, what about this one? I cannot give this one to this cat. That cat will be jealous. This egg is the odd one out, which means three is an odd number. What about five eggs? Let's divide the eggs again. This one for this cat. This one for that cat. This one for this cat. This one for that cat. We have another odd one out again, which means five is also an odd number. If the number cannot be divided by two, it means that number is an odd number. There is, however, an easier way to tell if a number is an even number or an odd number. Let's go to Uncle McDonald's farm. Look, Uncle McDonald's farm has a lot of chickens. He also has shelves so the chickens can go in there to rest. We will use the shelves to help us identify whether a number is an even number or an odd number. From now on, we will call these shelves even and odd number frames. Let's label the frames from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We always count the frames from top to bottom, then go to the next top to bottom again. All the top frames are called odd number frames and all the bottom frames are called even number frames. Here comes one chicken. It hops into the first frame. Does this one chicken occupy the odd number frame or even number frame? Yes, this frame is an odd number frame, so one is an odd number. Here come two chickens. One goes to the top frame, and another one goes to the bottom frame. We always look at the last occupied frame. In this case, it is the bottom frame. The bottom frames are always the even number frames, which means two is an even number. This time, here come three chickens. One, two, three. Three is an odd number. What about four chickens? One, two, three, four. Yes, four is an even number. More chickens are coming. One, two, three, four, five. Five is an odd number. 
Here come six chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is an even number. There are seven chickens here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is an odd number. Here come eight chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is an even number. What about nine chickens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is an odd number. Now, what about ten chickens? One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is, yes, an even number. This means two, four, six, eight, and ten are even numbers, while one, three, five, seven, and nine are odd numbers. Let's try this together. Please get a paper and a pencil. Ready? Is five an even or an odd number? First, draw the frames on the paper like this. Now, let's write down the numbers. One, two, three, Four, five, is five in the top frame or bottom frame? It's in the top frame, which means five is an odd number. What about 18? Wow, <laughs> that's quite a lot to put in the frames. Do I need to draw a very long frame like this? No, you don't need to. You just need to pay attention to the last digit of the numbers. In this case, it is 18, so just pay attention to the last digit, which is 8. 8 is an even number, which means 18 is an even number. What about 243? Wow! Don't be nervous, it's the same. Pay attention to the last digit only. The last digit is 3, which means 243 is an odd number. Easy, right? Why don't you head to www.noodlekids.com to print some worksheets and practice your new skill. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, Please hit like and don't forget to subscribe to the Noodle Kids channel.